Alrighty guys, Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Gardner Garage here in beautiful Alabama once again. Alright, now, what we have here is we have a two console stream here. We have Mr. Brandon Garrett and Mr. Daniel Allen. Okay, now they purchased consoles off the website from us. And, well, we oblige them, okay? This is this one is a Corona 4 gig. Alright, it's got an Ace V3 in it. Alright, 250 gig drive. Of course, it's up on Alliance servers. 10 day trial purge. Uh... VO2, MW3, Ghosts, and of course, Advanced Warfare off hosts, all right, as well as Jiggy and Sentinel, GSC menus, and um, what we're going to do here is we're going to do, uh, this one here is going to be a demonstration and a guide, and of course, this is going to apply to Daniel's console too, uh, as we go ahead and uh, we, we progress through this, okay, so um, I suggest uh, watching this video, that way then you know what you're getting, and you know what, where, how, and who, and how to set it up on a network for the first time, and all that kind of good stuff, all right? So anyway, oh, you like that, huh, Mike? Mike, listen, if you're ever in Bama, brother, you come down here, and I'll cook some food for you, too. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, the food was good, believe me. My anus is going to pay for it later. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, okay, we have Brandon Garrett here, okay, and uh, we're going to boot this puppy up, okay? There we go. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have you pay attention to the screen right here. And yes, it insta boots. It's really a good console. Uh, like I said, Corona 4 gig um, version 1, actually. Uh, Brandon watched me build this in Messenger. I, I was showing him pictures as I was building it. So he knows exactly what's in it, exactly how it runs, and all that other happy nonsense, okay? That way then he knows what he's getting. He knows what he's getting, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't hide stuff, I uh, Try not to, that's for sure. Um, so, you know how that goes. So anyway, as you can see, we booted up. We're an alliance, okay? All the plugins are working. There we go. Life is grand. We're at show all. I'm Brandon, okay? I don't I don't know if you're familiar with Aurora or not, but I think that you are. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead. The back button here, file manager, scripts, restart, reboot, shut down. Shows your IP address, you know, temperatures, all that crap. All right? Your start button, business end of this thing, assets, profile, content, modules, language, security, and about. If you have an external drive, you can go ahead and you can uh, plug it in with a USB. And then what you can do is, is you can put all your downloaded games and all your stuff and everything on it. And you can map it right here just by adding a path. Okay, and all you got to do is just select the location and your USB drive will pop up over here. It could be a 4 terabyte, 6 terabyte, doesn't really matter. And you just go ahead and you add it and then... Of course, you set the path in there, uh, and then you uh, you can download your title artwork updates and all that kind of good stuff just by scanning it, and it will automatically find all your title updates and your you know and your uh, artwork and all that, and uh, get it set up for you. Okay, so anyway, that's what that's all about. Okay, now, all right, um, hitting the RB button. All right, your right bumper. There you are. We have a context menu below. Show all. Okay, Xbox 360, and there's your games on this thing, okay? Start off at the Xbox 360 dashboard. We'll work our way through. As you can see, as much as a 250-gig drive can hold, okay? Of course, Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, all that. Yes, NCAA football, college football revamped is on here, version 11.2, so you'll be able to play that. That's, all, that's also modded. All right, so on and so forth, and then we're back to the dashboard. Hit the RB button again, then you have Xbox Live Arcade, all right? All of these have the older title updates as well, too. All right, as you can see, they're already set up, downloaded, and all that crap. Okay, that's what takes so much time, setting these damn things up. Um, and now, our homebrew section where the tools reside to blow the console up. And then, of course, you have your classic games. you got a couple classic games on there. And then you have indie games, okay, for developers, from developers that built, uh, built, these, built these things on, uh, on XNAs. And, of course, you have your emulators. We're freaking a Mario, eh? All right, so you got Nintendo, you got Super Nintendo, you got MAME, Sega, Game Boy Advance. And there's over 8,000 ROMs on this thing all together with everything. So, you know, it, it's crazy. You, you, you got enough there to stay busy for a while. All right? And, of course, we're back to show all. Now, what we're going to do is I'll go ahead and uh, what we'll do here, we'll go ahead. Whoopsie. That's what we want right there. We'll go visit the dashboard, okay? So anyway, as you can see, it's going to boot up, and there we are, we're at the dashboard, we'll see, it is up, it is online, and ready to go, okay, hit the guide button, now, of course, unbanned, you'll have 30 days, I promise, don't worry about that, it's just time changed, flopped over, okay, so anyway, okay, as you can see, there's our guide, over in our fifth tab, 
You have your Advanced Warfare Sheets, BO2 Sheets, Ghost Sheets, and Modern Warfare 3 Sheets to disable Hit A, to enable Hit A. They come enabled, so if you don't want to use them, you could just disable them. No big deal. All right? And, of course, we'll go back to Xbox Home. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sign in with a profile that I've got here. All right? That way, Danny. Hey, Rudy. How are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Same old stuff. Just had dinner. <laughs> I cooked it myself. <laughs> About blew up the kitchen, too. Yes, I was in touch with uh, with my Joanna Gaines side. Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. Oh, my goodness, we're having chicken. Okay, so anyway. All right, I'm going to plug this freaking thing in here. Right. Now, yes, we inserted the USB stick, okay? <laughs> okay, so tell you what, we'll load a profile on here. Here we go. All right, and I'll use my profile right here. Yeah, yes, we're signing in. And we're signing in. And, of course, we're going to sign in. And we're signed in. Okay, life is good. Oh, forgot to put the password in this thing. Wait a minute. Let me uh, go ahead and let me turn that down there, okay? Continue. Let me just go ahead and do this real quick. I forgot to do this before. Whoopsie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, I was so excited about the food. <laughs> yes, food turns me on. Okay. <laughs> There we go. All right, now everything should sign in, and it should be right. We shall see. If I put the freaking password in right. Nope, I didn't put the password in right. I'm an idiot. Hang on. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, there we go. All right, now. Okay. Now, let me go here. Oh, wait, okay. Everything should be fine now. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go ahead. We'll sign in. Life should be good. Signing in. Oh, Jesus is going to ask me again. Sorry about that, guys. Hang on here. Okay, continue. Let me do this one more time here. There we go. All right, sorry about that. We got to do this. All right, now. There we go. There. Now, that should work. <laughs> yep. And there it worked. Okay. So now we're good. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered. There we go. All right. Now. All right. Everything should be fine now. Now we should be all logged in and everything should be okay. We, will, should, we shall see. Yes. Signing in. And we're good. Okay. And we're all signed in. There we are. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and let's bring this back to home right here. Okay. And here we are. Life is grand. All right. Now, sorry about that. So let's forget. Hey, Tristan, how are you, man? Yeah, Tristan, yeah. I saw that last night. Uh, I, me I messaged you back. Did you try disabling... Any other mod menus or stuff on there that you've got and give give that a shot and just leave that just leave that plugin in and see see what happens because if they use the same base address for one plug into another, you know, I mean that could that could give you a problem, you know? So I would suggest that you try that. Alright? Now, okay. So then we're back here, okay, and now we're signed in. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's check this out here, okay? First, we'll do the Advanced Warfare Sheets just to show you what we got here. You know, those are our latest ones. Uh, we'll hit Advanced Warfare. We'll fire that up. Okay. Hopefully, everything will be all right. And it is. Okay. There we are. Advanced Warfare is bypassed. Life is grand. All right. Now, hit Start. We'll press Start again. We'll go to Multiplayer. Now, it's going to give us a bypass once again. Because, you know, we're running actually a different XEX. So, of course, you know, you got to have that. There we go. Advanced Warfare is bypassed. Alliance sheets are loaded. Okay. Now, we just got to give it a minute. There we go. All right. We're good. All right. That's a good thing. Okay. So, there's our sheets and our sheets are loaded. All right. So, life is grand. Now, what we can do is we can set this up right here. Okay. And which we'll, we'll, that's what we're going to do. Hold in on the left trigger. Push down on the left D-pad. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's our sheets. Okay. Now, these are pretty, uh, pretty simple to operate. Hit A. 
Okay, and then we can turn it on with A. See, you turn all this crap on right here. You can spoof all of this stuff works, by the way, okay, just to let you know. All right, there's nothing that doesn't work on this thing, okay? So, just letting you know. Now we'll hit B to back out of there. We'll go to the aimbot. We'll turn the aimbot on. We'll use ADS mode for right now. We'll use no spread, and we'll use auto wall for a wall banger, all right? Then, of course, you have anti-aim. You can do a spin bot and fake lag if you want. You got riot shield, fast 360, jitter, off, okay? You know, I mean, you know, if you want to, you can turn, like, the riot shield on or whatever, and then you can put fake lag on there, and you'll be jerking all around all over the freaking place, acting like a complete idiot, all right? Now... We'll use snap lines and bottom and everything. Crosshairs, we'll use hit crosshairs. There's two different versions, spread crosshairs and hit hit crosshairs, okay? So we'll use hit crosshairs. Then we'll back out of here. Now, of course, you got players. We're not in the game right now. And then we got our settings, okay? And then what we can do is we can move the menu. We'll bring that all the way up to the corner right there, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll bring this down here. We'll hit A, get out of move menu. We'll go up to field of view, and we'll adjust that out to 85, okay? And then we'll back out of here, and then to close the cheats, all you got to do is hold in the left trigger and push down on the D-pad, and they're gone, okay? Now, Xbox Live, and we'll go ahead. There we go. Pretty easy to set up. All right, yeah, 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 we know, we know, okay? Now, what's going to happen here is hopefully everything will go all right, in which it does. And don't laugh at my pink pants, like I said, man, because it'll be the last thing that you see after I blow your face off. All right, so anyway, all right, we'll do a private match. Okay, what we'll do, we'll do a little different one here, okay, you know what we'll do, we'll go into standard mode, and we'll do free-for-all, okay, and then we'll put a whole bunch of bots in there, so that way then we're all fighting, okay, now, we'll do that right there, okay, and what we'll do is, is we can start the game, okay, so we'll start the game, let's see what happens here, all right, now it's going to load, everything should be good, and then, of course, your, um, your actual, uh, snap lines, of course, you're going to see, uh, all the uh, all the bad guys are orange, okay. And if you we were we were playing if we were playing teams, then we would have green for the good guys. All right, so then we'll grab a gun. There we are. Purple is a wall banger, by the way. Okay, and as you can see, we're gonna be shooting through something there. Okay, and then pretty much we're gonna be good to go. There's Yankee over to the side here. All right, and the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll get Yankee. Okay, and we'll shoot him. We'll shoot him, and we'll shoot him, okay? Get rid of him. And this thing automatically figures out which one is the worst threat to you, and that's the one it will target, okay? So it's a little different. This guy is running away from me? What are you freaking, damn it? All right, so anyway, yeah, we can jump through here. Okay, when he turn red, let him have it. As you can see, it works really good. All right, then we'll run through here. Run through the jungle, okay? There we go. Yeah, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. I'm out of ammo, damn it. There, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, shit. Already I'm low on fucking ammo? Son of a bitch. Here, wait a minute. Let me jump down. You bastard! Fucking skeet shooting, you little prick. Okay? So anyway, though, you get the idea. All right? Now, of course, you know, if you want to be like a complete, utter idiot, okay, and you want to piss some people off, well, we can do that, too. Alright, because what we can do, okay, as you can see, this is already pissing a lot of people off right here, okay? I know I would be, I'd be very, very angry, okay? <laughs> Alright, anyway, as you can see, it all works pretty freaking good, actually, so. Alright, so anyway, what we can do is we can open up the cheat menu, we can go to aimbot, alright, and then we can turn on silent, okay? And then we can turn on auto fire, alright? Now. And close the menu out, and now what we can do is we can just jump around and automatically, uh, it automatically shoots everybody that's in sight, okay? And anybody that's a good shot right here. So we can go ahead and we're just skipping around, there we go. And of course it's silent, so we don't have to aim, okay? We jump up and down, okay? As you can see, straight, throw, all that kind of good stuff, yes. Long shot, yes, he's dead too. Jumping around like a freaking bunny rabbit, okay? And, uh, pretty much, of course, everybody's dying, alright, as you can see, and... I'm not taking that one hit, you know, which is pretty cool, except for the guy with the riot shield, okay? I don't like him. So, anyway, we got rid of him. So on and so forth, victory is mine. <laughs> all right? So, anyway. <laughs> you got to love that, all right? You really do, okay? So, anyway, there you go. All right? It's all good, like, it's, like I said, you know, and uh, pretty much you're all good to go. So, we'll get out of here now, okay? And that's just, a, that, that's just one of them.
uh, one of many. Uh, we're going to wind up having BO3 on there. And uh, also all the other cheats are going to be migrated to this to this setup as it is. Because it's a really good setup. So, you know, I mean, that's what we're going to do. So anyway, okay, now, tell you what. We'll go on over here. Okay, now, just to show you here. Everybody loves college football revamped, okay? So I'll tell you what we're going to do, all right? The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sign out of this profile here, okay? Uh, let me do this here. Yes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in on my offline profile right here, okay? So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll sign in on that one right there, okay? Now that's my offline profile, all right? So anyway, now, now we'll go over here, NCAA Football 14. We'll fire that up. All right, and just to show you, it starts up, of course, differently than EA Sports, okay, as you can see. We have a dude walking down the hallway. He looks like he just got his ass kicked, all right, and uh, pretty much college football revamped, version 11.2. All right, please get on the college football revamped GitHub, okay, just Google it. You'll find it. Everything that you want to know about this mod is on there, okay? Rosters. If you need rosters hashed or whatever, my buddy Stu Douglas, he's a good friend of mine, okay, he said... Anybody needs rosters or whatever, hit him up, and he'll help you. He will teach you how to do it, okay, which is really cool, you know, I mean, real cool. Don't, don't drive him crazy, but if you can, if you can figure it out yourself, hey, that's cool, you know, I mean, like I said, the instructions are in College Football uh, Revamp GitHub, you know, also, any updates will be from College Football Revamp GitHub as well, so you're going to have to learn how to do this anyway, but if you need help doing a roster, Stu Douglas will help you. All right, he will do your rosters. He will hash them for you. He has a blast doing it. You know, he, he enjoys it. So, you know, I mean, but please try and learn on your own as well because you're going to need to learn this stuff anyway. All right, you know, I mean, because what good is it if you don't know half of what this thing can do, okay, or what the mods can do actually, you know, and there's always mods coming out for it. People are always writing stuff for this crazy thing. So, you know, I mean, there you go. So, anyway, we'll press the start button, okay? Load the profile up. Here we go. We're loading. And then just to show you that it all works and everything, all right? Once this gets through here, there we go. And play now. There's your season. Then there's your team. All that. You, of course, you can change that, of course. Your dynasty, your road to glory, 2020 season, ultimate team. Uh, team management settings, Xbox Live, my NCAA legacy, any sports extra, okay? It all works. It all works perfectly fine, okay? However, though, you do have to hash a roster to this thing, all right? And the reason why I don't do it is because... You have to have a profile, you know, and I'm not going to do that, okay? So when you get your profile all done and everything else, then go speak to Stu, and Stu will help you out, okay? Just to let you know. So, you know, I mean, pretty much it's good to go, all right? Now we'll get out of here, all right? Now what we'll do is we'll head on over to GTA 5. We'll do something on there. Say much for that. Hey, Mike, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Where the heck you been? Oh, yeah. The crazy cookie's in the house. <laughs> if you don't know who that is, you haven't been modding long. <laughs> All right, so anyway. <laughs> anyway, okay. It's good to see you, Mike. Glad you're on here, brother. Yes, I got your console. Yes, I'm going to be doing something special to his console because it boots horrible. <laughs> I'm like going, like, dude, you really need to send that to me so I can fix the damn thing for you. All right. I mean, sitting here for 10 minutes waiting for it to boot, that is not cool at all. All right, that's bad. All right, so anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little Oreo cookie he is. All right, so anyway, now, all right, here we go. Now we're back here. All right, now just to show you here, okay? Now, okay, GTA 5, all right? So I'll tell you what, we'll fire that up. Okay, you'll see. There we go. It's loading up. We should get a text box for the purge for GTA 5, okay? Also, you do know that Mr. Crazy Cookie was... One of the originals on the purge, okay, and um, him and Stelio, once, and then Stelio took it over and just ran with it like a maniac. The crazy Cookie was uh, was 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 uh, was one of the guys that uh, originally came up with this crap, which is insane. Okay, so you know, so anyway, yeah, and it's good old Crazy Cookie for you. All right, so anyway. Here we go. We're firing up, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna boot into story mode now. I got a game save on here. I should anyway, okay? And uh, I'll show you what we got here. All right. Now this is this is a three point nine, okay? Four point oh. Uh, he has to whitelist me on, so that way then I'm able to show it. And uh, he's been doing a lot of work in the background. And what happened was is my IP changed, 
So, of course, it's not whitelisted. So, there's things in there that we have to do to make it work on this console and on these consoles, okay, as we go. So, he's done a lot of cleaning up with some stuff, and he's done a, he's done a lot to the menu. So, when I'm able to sh uh, showcase that, there's going to be a lot of other things that I'm going to be able to showcase on that damn thing for you guys, okay? So, anyway, we're just going to load up into story mode. Sorry it takes so long, but, you know, it's a big game. It takes a long time to freaking load. We all know this, okay? Anyway, there I am in my crib, okay? Now... Well, get on over to here. There we are. Okay, now this is going to stream from the server, by the way. Okay, so we have to wait for it to stream. And then when it does, everything will be good. There we are. All right, good. Streamed. Now, D-pad left and X. We'll open it. Okay. A to select. A to turn all this crap on. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we'll leave that one off. Okay. And, of course, we've got quick options. Okay. And we'll do the improved fly mode like I normally do. Okay, teleport locations, recovery options, character options, okay, I mean, all that stuff is all in there, okay, recovery options, all that crap, okay, you know I'm not going to roll alone, alright, I got to have a couple of stun gun strippers, okay, I got to have Tony stun gun strippers, very, very important, okay, yeah, you know why, because we got ass, alright, wait a minute, they're all wearing freaking tops, son of a bitch, where's my nipples, damn it, oh, you freaking cheated me, you son of a bitch, Okay, there we go. Yes, the hills are alive with the sound of music. Yes, nipples, okay? Let's see them in the daylight, shall we? All right, tell you what. We'll go on over here. We're going to misc options, weather options. Ah, look. Yes, they're shining down on the nipples. Yes, they are. There we go. Oh, what beautiful flaxen black hair you have. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll back out of there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> nothing like it, okay? Weapons options, all right? Yeah, we'll grab some boom boom, okay? Yeah, we'll, get, we'll grab that boom boom and this boom boom, and then we'll do this boom boom. Yeah, we'll do this boom boom, okay? Oh, yeah, got to have the grenade gun. It's very important, okay? Back out of there, back out of there, okay? There's the menu. Life is good. Yeah, we'll load up with an AK-47. There you go. Bitches, get out of my way, okay? Listen, tits, you back up out of there, okay? I don't want to set your nipples on fire. Anyway, needless to say... When in doubt, pull it out, let them have it. Okay, there you go. Now we got all kinds of craziness goes on. Yes, we're blowing off tree strings and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, pretty much we're going to have a bunch of grenades there on the ground and all that. Yeah, there we go, okay? And everything is blown up and we got hookers on fire and on her back and all that. Nipples, I told you to back up, didn't I? Didn't I tell you to back up? What the fuck? What are you, stupid bitch? Okay, so anyway, God almighty. Yeah, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, look, police. Nice. There we go. Enjoy your vacation. How do you like your retirement? There you go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, bitch, get the fuck out of here with that egg beater. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, oh, look, more of them. Isn't that nice? Okay? Now, when in doubt, yeah, we'll just go ahead. We'll go to Los Santos Customs. We'll, uh, we'll spawn up something here like a motorcycle or something like that right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for my favorite. Yeah, it's the Faggio. There we go. Okay? Come on, bitch, get on here. Let the one with the tits. Oh, you bastard. Okay, so anyway, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we'll get the hell out of here. Here we go. Yeah, and we'll just take off and we'll just, like, fly right over them. It's all good. That's it. Sun gun stripping, bitch. I like the purple thong. That looks really good. So, anyway, yeah, we fly through the air. When in doubt, okay, if you want to make some money, all you got to do is just go to the bodyguard menu. Go to Tony's stun gun strippers. And then all you got to do is just shit them out. Okay, see? They work real good. And then they'll go ahead and they'll give blowjobs and all that kind of good stuff. And, you know, they'll bring it back to money. No, they won't. Stelio hasn't, hasn't put a mod in for that yet. Although, he is working on it, okay? So, anyway, as you can see, we're going to land this thing. There we go. Okay. We'll get off. Bitch, what you looking at? <laughs> okay? So, as you can see, yes, we have lots of mods. It all works really good. Yeah, including hurting police officers like that. That's fun. It's always fun. <laughs> there we go. So, anyway... All right, there you go. Purge. Now, back out of here. Here we go. Now, yeah. I know crazy cookie like that. So, <laughs> all right. So, anyway, we're done there, okay? Now, it's going to boot back to Aurora. Okay, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do here, okay? Now, you've seen that. You've seen that, okay? Uh, we'll do one more thing here, all right? And then I'm going to show you how to get this online for the first time, okay? Um, Black Ops 2, all right? 
Black Ops 2, the reason why I'm doing this is we have an off-post on there for that, okay? A little different off-post, but, the, the, you know, this off-post works for the rest of them, okay? Like Ghosts and MW3, okay? And all that crap. So, you know, it also has two GSC menus, Jiggy and Sentinel, all right? I'm going to show you here. I'm going to load it up. And there we go. Black Ops 2 is bypassed. Everything's cool. All right, there we are. And we got to wait for the stupid Dolby sign or sign or whatever. And that's what we'll do. And there we go. Okay, good. Now, all right, enough of that. Let's go on over here. Let's press the start button. There we go. Use the hard drive. There we are. Okay. Now, we'll do a little multiplayer action here just for the hell of it. Okay. Multiplayer. All right. Now. We should get another bypass, which is good. And then we should get Black Ops 2 cheats are loaded. And then we can. Then what we're going to do is, yep, and there we go. We'll do a little local game right here. We'll set up the bots, do nine of them, and we'll start the match. Now, for this off host, D-pad left to open it, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close it, okay? Uh, Jiggy, holding left trigger, push down right thumbstick, that'll open it up. A to select, X to back out. All right, so uh, we'll fire this up here. And I'm going to show you what we what happens here with this. Um, also, with Jiggy, if you want to play with it online, you have to go into a private uh, lobby by yourself, and you have to force the host. I'm going to show you how to do that, just so you know. All right, so anyway, we'll grab a gun here, okay? Now, holding left trigger, push down, um, yeah, holding left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. There we go. Okay, we can go to main mods. We'll do, we'll do quick mods, which covers, uh, you know, god mode and all that, no clip and all that crap, okay? Then we'll hit X to back out of there. All right, now, if you want to play with Jiggy online, you have to go to host only, and then you force the host, you hit A. Okay, then you're back out of this, you're back out of this, uh, out of this lobby, go into a public lobby, and then you have Jiggy. I am going to warn you, though, when you host only, it's going to try and find players right around you, okay, very close to you or whatever to make the game good. So, you know, I mean, if you force the host, remember, you're going to have a little bit of a wait time, you know, to get everybody in there, all right, just to let you know. Anyway. We'll back out of here, okay? And uh, let's see here. Now we'll do a little modification here. No, we won't do that. Not yet, anyway. Go to bullets. Use swarms and grenades and flare bullets and dog bullets and all that stuff. Dude, I'm in god mode. You can't kill me, bro. Sorry, okay? And we'll back out of here. D-pad left to open all posts. This, the all posts you can just go online with, no problem. X to select. Use X to turn all this crap on. Turn that on, on screen, we'll turn all that crap on, ESP, you can set it up any which way you want, okay, there we go, we'll back out of there, we'll stand up, D-pad left to close the menu, now we'll take a run out here, when they turn blue, let them have it, okay, we'll fly through here with the aid of Jiggy, and there we are, and now we will just completely and uh, utterly destroy everything in sight, including everything that you could ever imagine, and then some as you can see, okay, now when in doubt, Okay, what we can do, we can pull it out, go to aimbot, unfair aimbot, and pretty much you blow through building schools and everything else with automatic headshots and hooray, you win. Do not do this online because that will just piss a lot of people off. It ends the game real quick and it's stupid, okay? Listen, help people, you know, prestige them, whatever, you know, I mean, I, I mean, do the right thing. If you get an asshole in here, well, then let them freaking have it. You're damn right, okay? But if you're in, in, in a lobby with decent people and everything, just have fun with them, man, you know? I mean, you know, pretty easy. So, there it is. Okay, in a nutshell, it's done. All right? Now, all right. Now, just to show you here, we'll back out of here. Yeah. We'll back out of here. We'll go right to zombies, okay? I'm going to click on zombies. We're going to fire zombies up. All right? There we are. Black Ops 2 is bypassed. Everything is good. All right. Now, we'll do a little local game on this thing. Here we go. And there's our spinning earth. Okay, now, we'll go ahead. We'll go into here. We'll do transit. Okay, and we'll start the match. Now, listen, with Sentinel, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick. That'll open it up. X to select. Hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick to back out of the menu. All right? So, we're going to do a little bit of the green run right here. Turns your green. Hey, Michael, don't worry about it, man. We get it. We get it. We get it, brother. Don't you worry. I got you. All right. Now, good old crazy cookie. Love that guy. All right. Hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, there it is. X to select, we'll turn this on, and then we'll turn this on. Okay, and then we'll turn this on, and this on, and this on. 
And then we'll go ahead and we'll toggle the aimbot. Now, we'll back out of here, okay, by pressing in, pressing in on the right thumbstick. That'll bring you back, okay? Weapons menu. Yeah, we'll just grab something that's really evil. It usually works really good. This usually works really good. We're in God mode, so life is good. Come on, guys, wake up. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Yeah, there we are. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks like uh, feeding time at the zoo. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. Wake up, bitch. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Here, come and get me. Not. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. And we're all good, okay? Oh, look, I got a little skull. Goody. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, it all works really good. And of course, I'm in God mode, so I can't die. All right, so anyway, we'll back out of there. Weapons menu, fun menu, models menu, forge menu, zombies menu, power-ups menu, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods, lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu. You know, I mean, there's a ton of stuff on there. You know, I mean, so I have a blast with it. Excuse me for a moment. Let me, um, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> that took care of that. Oh, look, more of them. Isn't that nice? There you go. Have fun with that. Yeah. There you go. Okay? So anyway. You know, like I said, there's a ton of stuff on here, all right? You can, uh, you know, easily just, here, kill all zombies. There they go. They're all dead, okay? Here, took care of that. You can freeze the zombies, do all kinds of crazy stuff with this thing. It's a full-blown menu. It works really good, all right? Have fun with it. Now, I'm going to get out of here, okay? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you to get this frigger online for the first time, okay? Kind of important. need you to pay attention to this because if you don't, you're not going to get it online, and you're going to be pissed, all right? So I don't want to see that happen. That's the reason why I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? It's really easy. All right, now, Brandon, when you first get this crazy son of a bitch, all right, before you power it on and all that crap, this is the most easiest way to do this, the most simplest way. Pull the freaking hard drive. Pull it out. Plug the power in, plug the HDMI cord in, get your controller ready, fire the bitch up, okay? Now, once it fires up, okay, you're going to see that this thing is going to come to the original dashboard. Okay, now, as you can see, of course, boots instant, as I showed you in the video, well, in the me in Messenger, like, several times, okay? So, you know how it boots, okay? So, anyway, sync up your controller, get it ready. You're going to come to the original dashboard. Here you go. Go up, go over, go to settings, go to system. Network settings, okay? This is really easy, okay? As you can see, my Wi-Fi is already selected. You're going to pop up over here, okay? Click on your uh, click on your um, your Wi-Fi and then uh, go ahead and put the password in. When you do that, it'll automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like I'm doing right now. All right, you're going to get a check mark to Red X's, all that crap, okay? There you go. Dash launch is doing its job. We never want to connect to Xbox Live okay, without a stealth server, because if you do, your KB is going to get banned instantly, okay, except for right now, because everything is all crazy over at Xbox Live, all right, so, <laughs> server's on a hard drive, okay, so, you know, that's the reason why we do that, well, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are connected to our router, that's the reason why we do this, okay, so, we get a check mark right there, we're good, okay, these two, that's done by Dash Launcher Protect the KB, all right, failed and blocked, good, so we got this far, life is grand. Power off the console. Then, okay, take our hard drive, slip it in there, close the drive door, pull the power cord. Five minutes, leave it out, okay? If you don't leave it out for five minutes, you're going to wind up with a mess on your hands because the DNS isn't going to be right. It's going to connect to the internet, but it's not going to connect to the server, okay? We got to flush the buffers. Only way to do that is make sure that this thing is completely dead. And how to do that, five minutes, power out. End of story, okay? Once you're done, plug it back in. And the only reason why I'm plugging it back in is because the simple fact is it's already on my network, so everything should be right. Although this is a Microsoft product. So remember that, smiling Bill Gates, okay? And sometimes this bites me in the butt, but it's okay. So we're going to try it anyway. You five minutes, me, I'm, I'm going to turn the bitch on, all right? Now... <clears throat> with an insane amount of luck and we sync our controller up there we go all right and uh my hdmi hold on let me pull this now let me put that back in 
Yeah, as usual. <laughs> it's what happens when you have a mountain of freaking wires over here. All right, so anyway. Okay, now, as you can see, we put it up. Life is good. Green stuff stopped moving around. She locked the server. We're getting on the internet now. Aurora is booting up. It's going through the launch inning. Here we go. Step by step. There we are. Welcome to Alliance. Life is good. All right. Now, the first thing that you're going to do when you get all this and you're online and you see all this stuff happening, what I want you to do now is I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Okay. Now, let's make sure that we're online. Okay. We'll skip the sign in. We're online. Life is good. You're good to go. Now, I want you to remember something here, though, okay? Look. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you have a profile that you're using, a retail profile, you want to put it on RGH, that's your business. I'm not going to go into why, how, what, or whatever, all right? Because you know, you know what, I what I'm talking about. You've seen my videos before, and you know the reason why, okay? I would suggest going to xbox.com slash live. Make a profile, use Outlook for the credentials. Please put a phone number in there so they can verify the account in case they want to. Okay, it's not going to do anything bad. Okay, just just put a phone number in there. Otherwise, it will not verify the credentials correctly. Okay, just in case. All right, then once you make the profile, I mean, come here, download the profile. All right, if everything goes right, it's going to look like this. You're going to see the little white box where it says loading, downloading, you know. Now, if you're still at that white box for more than five minutes, you got a problem, all right? Because it shouldn't be that big of a profile, all right? Now, if that happens and you're sitting there at that loading screen forever, well, just, it got corrupted during the download, so this is what you got to do. You hit B to back out of that, and you come back here, okay? Then what you do, you go up and over, and this is only if the profile fails to download, okay? Go to storage, okay? Go to the hard drive, all right? Go to profiles. There you go. Underneath this profile will be the, the the evil profile I didn't download, okay? I want you to highlight it, hit A, delete the sound bitch right off of there because it's no good anyway. Once you delete it, back out of here, back out of here, back out of here. Leave the hard drive highlighted, go to Y, clear the system cache once, and then we're going to do it one more time. Twice. Life is good. Back out of here, back out of here, up, over, social, sign in. Download the profile. It should be fine. All right. Once you download the profile, hit the guide button. Go back home. All right. That'll take you back to Aurora. Now, here's the deal here. Okay. Once you get back into Aurora, all right, there's another program that you got to run that I want you to run just to make sure. Okay. It's called XM360. Make sure it's your best friend. All right. Because when you download DLC, you put, you know, um, you have downloadable content on it. You put a new game on it or something like that that has downloadable content, you know, and all that crap. You need to run this and unlock everything because if it's not region free or it's got or, or, or it's locked or whatever, this is the program that you got to use to unlock it. So you just hit it. It'll start up. It'll run. Okay. And this all applies to the other console too, Daniel. So please, you know, please pay attention to all this. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. I want you to have a little bit of knowledge. Just enough to become dangerous, but not a danger to yourself or to the RGH, all right? Because <laughs> you got to remember something, okay? No matter what, all right, this thing, all the safeties are off. Oh, my, oh, dude, crazy, man. Dude, dude, no reason to thank me, man. This is what I do. It's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy teaching people. I really do appreciate it, though. Thank you. You know, I mean, now, look, here's all your XBLA and all the crap, okay? What I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and just hit rescan all. All right, because I want you to see what it's doing here. Okay, as you can see, it's finding all the, all the downloadable content, all the XBLA, all your title updates, all your game saves, everything that's on this hard drive, it's going through the entire thing right now. All right, there it is. Now, writing clean content bin, we're good. Now, pop over here, go to unlock XBLA, hit A. Okay, zero files unlocked, that's good. That means everything's already unlocked, all right? Go to show DLC. And then there's all your DLC. Move on over, go to unlock DLC, hit it, hit A. Zero files are unlocked. Everything's unlocked. We're good. All right? So life is good. After you put, you know, your content in or whatever it is that you're putting in there, always come to this program, go to all, and just let it go, and then just freaking unlock everything. Okay? Real simple. Then we exit the dash. Okay. Life is good. Now you can go off and act like a complete maniac if you want. Okay? However, though, 
I wouldn't suggest doing that because you probably would get arrested in this day and age. Anyway, okay. Now we're back here, okay? Now look, emulators, really easy. No big deal. Emulators run, okay, as you can see. That's the UX. That's a Nintendo emulator. You told me you like freaking a Mario, huh? Okay, well, you're about to get a face full of Mario, his meaty balls, and his freaking sausage, okay? Might not be in a good way. As you can see, the ROMs are already loaded on this thing. You got a ton of them on here, all right? Just like MAME. MAME, you've got 8,000 of them on there. 7,000, whatever the hell it is. It's nuts, all right? So anyway, if you want to play like our good old, uh, our good old Donkey Kong, okay? There we go. We'll hit that. And there we are. Okay, now, we're going to hit the back button. The back button will bring you to your players. Okay, as you can see. All right, we're going to do one player. And then, uh, you know, you hit your start button. Hit A. All right, it should start up. And everything should be fine. And there we are. Good old Donkey Kong, okay? We got the gorilla with the nipples. Again, okay, he just tried throwing a fucking barrel at me. You son of a bitch. Wait till I get up there, you little bastard. I'm going to fucking do you Patterson style, okay? And you hot ass, get away from me. All right, now, let's see here. Oh, so you thought you were going to get me, huh? Oh, so you thought you were going to get me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Okay, so anyway, yeah, that was a close one. All right, so we'll get up there, like I said, gorilla. Oh, you little... Fucking Mario's dead. All right? Now, just to show you something else here, too, okay? If you hit Y, okay, as you can see, we have graphic settings that you can adjust on this thing. So we can do Super Saiyan if we want. All right, there you go. Hit A. And then we can bring this over, do a full screen on it. All right. And then we just back out of here. And you will see now we have a full screen. Okay. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff on this. All right. With MAME, if you, hit, if you push in on both thumbsticks, all right, then what will happen is, is shit. <laughs> anyway, if you push in on both thumbsticks, all right, that will go ahead. I fucking hate you, Donkey Kong, you bitch. Fucking gorilla. All right, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to fix your ass. I'm going to derez you right now. How do you like that? Tron style. All right. So anyway, um, you know, if you hit both thumbsticks, it'll come up with all kinds of settings and everything else. If there's a mod for it, you know, you, you'll be able to use it, all that crap, you know, and that's in MAME, all right? There's a bunch of stuff on here when it comes to the emulators. Have a blast with it, okay? They have RetroArch 360 where you can play cores. That's really cool. You might want to check that out, okay? I mean, I downloaded it. I just haven't had a time to friggin' uh, do what I need to do with it. So, you know, I mean, I'd rather wait and get it right than wind up with a mess on my hands, okay? So anyway, there you go. Now, all right. Now that we did all that, okay, let me show you something else, too. Okay, now look, Classic Games, that's a uh, horse of another color, unfortunately, but Classic Games, okay? Like these two games right here. All right, if you try to play it with the server on, with, what I mean by that is with the fancy guide, you can't do it. You got to run them in bypass mode. So if you try to run Halo 2, all right, it's going to give you a black screen. Just like that. All right, not cool. All right. You're going to sit there and it's like, okay, that's a compatibility issue, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Now, to get this puppy to play classic games, it's really easy. We put it in bypass mode. And Brandon, it's very, very simple. When you want to play a classic game, just power this thing off. All right. There it goes. All right, and then what you do is you power it on, hit the eject button, leave the tray hanging out. Aurora will suck it in for you, all right, when it reaches bypass mode. And we booted. Life is good. So now what's going to happen is, is this thing now is going to go ahead. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and it is going to run in bypass mode. You cannot get out and play Xbox 360 games in this mode. The Internet is cut off. Not really, but it is with Xbox Live and all that crap, okay? So, just to let you know. Alright, now bypass mode. Now we can play classic games. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let me fire off a classic game like Tony Hawk. Alright, we'll fire that up. There we go. Alright, she blinked twice. Life is good. Things are going to boot. We're going to see Tony Hawk in a second here. Alright, and there we are. Alright, now we're playing on a console gen that was back in 2002. When they first came out, okay? And there you go. It plays just fine. No problems or whatever. I am going to warn you on some games, okay? On some games, when you exit this game, you might get a fatal crash, okay? Now, it's only on some games. It's not on all of them, all right? But on this particular one, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on the mood of it, I guess. I don't know. But, um, you know, it ain't going to hurt anything. It'll just restart a roar, and you could play another classic game. So, you know, it's not going to hurt anything, okay? Just to let you know, all right? 
So anyway, when you're done with the classic game here, hit the guide button. See? That's what I'm saying right there. See what I'm saying? Okay? So you got a fatal crash now. It ain't no big deal. It ain't hurting the console or anything like that. The only thing it's doing is going to go and run a roar again. Big deal. Okay? You know, whoopity doo da day. And it's only on some of them. It's not on all of them. Okay? Now, look. Copy and pasting your files and folders over and all that crap. Well, we use a freaking USB stick, which happens to be a 32 gig one right here that I got right here. We shoved that son of a bitch right in there. Now, you copy your shit over to your USB stick. Make sure you format it FAT32 so the Xbox can see it. We'll hit the back button. We'll go to our little file manager. And as you can see, we have the left window pane, the right window pane, RB, LB. Okay? So, we're going to copy from right to left. We'll go to HDD1. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll go right to the main root of the file right here. There's your KV bin, launch any all that. If you got a menu to put on there, okay, here's what you do. We're going to hit RB. And from the right window pane, we're going to select the USB stick, okay? Then we're going to go down. I'm going to use the trigger to go page by page here. That way then I'm not sitting here forever. There's a menu. X is selected. Bring it over. You want to copy it. Hit A. Hit the LB button. Bring it over. Paste. Done. Yes. Boom. There it is. Okay. You want to delete it? Real easy. X. And delete. And yes. Okay. And like I said, still on the USB stick. All right. That's how you copy and paste files and folders over. You can paste your games over, all that crap, you know. File manager. It's a simple file manager, okay? So now, what we'll do is we'll back out of here, and we'll back out of here. Now, we'll pull the USB stick. Now, I'm going to show you something else that you can do with your computer, okay? You can use, it's already Xbox 360 neighborhood, you know, friendly. It's already got XPDM on and all that crap. So all you got to do is download Xbox 360 neighborhood to, this, uh, to your computer. And you can download the SDK from anywhere. Pretty much Google it, YouTube it, you know, and you'll find it. Ain't no big deal. Xbox 360, uh, you, you know, neighborhood, SDK, latest edition. Okay, just Google that and you'll see it pop up and you download it to your Windows 10. All right. Now, this thing that also runs, she, she's trisexual. She'll run FTP. Okay. She'll run friggin', uh, you, can, you can connect uh, through FTP. You can, uh, you can use WinSCP for that, for Windows. You can use FileZilla for Linux. You can also go, if you want to, to your phone, go to the Smart Store or whatever, or PlayStation, Play Store, whatever the fuck it is, all right? Go in there, download an FTP client onto your phone, and if you have the patience and you're, you're, you're tenacious enough, okay, you'll be able to copy and files and photos over using your phone, okay? But for all intents and purposes, we're going to use two right now. I'm going to show you what they are, just so you can see. And here we are on my beautiful COVID-19 desktop, okay? You're going to love that, all right? Now, I'm going to try and make this as painless as possible, okay? You're welcome, brother. You have a good one, man. Norman, I have no idea, brother. Really, to be honest with you, I think it's already been cracked, but the problem is, though, is this. It's called DRM, Digital Rights Management. And uh, Microsoft covered their ass on that. And already people have been to jail. So, you know... That's my answer to you. I don't know when. Hopefully, it may happen. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I really don't know. So, you know, I mean, being real. I mean, you, you know, this, it is what it is, brother. It really is. Now, okay. Look, we're here at the uh, at my at my Windows 10 computer. I already downloaded uh, WinSCP for this thing. All right? So, we go here. You download WinSCP. You install like a regular program. This is FTP. All right? It's been around forever. God Almighty, it's been around forever. <laughs> I remember when it was on friggin' mainframes and shit. All right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go and we're going to choose FTP, File Transfer Protocol. No encryption, port number 21, and our host name. That's going to be our IP address, okay? Now, I know it was in the 30s. Let me just check and see. Oh, 23. Okay, good. All right. So, for the host... 192.168.1.23. Port number 21. Username, Xbox, FTP. Simple. Xbox, FTP. Login. Connected, reading remote directory. There it is. HTG1, just like you saw on the file manager, that's on the Xbox itself. Your main root of the drive right here. Copying and pasting, okay? Drag it. Drop it. 
There it is. Okay, delete it. Right click, delete. If you have a game that you want to put on in a games folder, real easy to do. Drag it. You see what it says plus? We go to games. Just drop it and it'll copy it over. Games are 7 to, you know, they, they range from 4 gigabytes to 7.98 gigabytes, okay? So if you do this, it's going to take a little time. I would recommend using a wired connection, like run a, run a direct Ethernet wire from your computer to your, uh, you know, to your Xbox or whatever. Set up the connection. So that way then you have transfer and then you'll be able to transfer it over, you know, pretty quickly actually, okay? So, you know, but that's using FTP. FTP is really... Very easy, okay? It works really good, all right? So that's WinSCP, all right? Pretty simple. Now, for those of you that like torture and uh, BDSM and all that kind of good stuff, we have Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Like I said, it's Xbox 360 Neighborhood friendly. So you download it, you put it on the system, you run it, you'll get this big green blob that sits on your desktop, and you just double-click it, and you'll see that it's going to pop up. We're going to get rid of this one. This one was from this morning. Okay. We're going to add a new one. So, we add the new Xbox 360. Next. Now, you can type in JTAG if it's the only one that's on your network. Okay. So, type in JTAG and it'll find it. Okay. Me, I got to type in the IP address. 182.168.1.23. Okay. Next. Now, of course, do you want to make it by default. I say no. You say yes. Okay. So, you'll click yes. I'm going to leave it at no for me. Next, finish. There it is. Okay. Now, right click. Open, explore, reboot, screen capture, synchronize time, security. It says default Xbox 360, delete and properties. Okay. Now, double click on it. It'll open up. Hopefully. And yes, it takes a little time. Excuse me whilst I grab a drink. <laughs> Much better. Ah, uh, yeah. I got to drink this shit. <laughs> Friggin' A. All right. Now, as you can see, volume HD1. Okay, life is good. Double click on it, open it up. That's the one that you're going to mess with, okay? So we'll open that up. Oh, come on. Hey. We got to wait. Hang on. Microsoft likes to show off their spinny circle. They put a lot of effort into that. <laughs> Eh, I wonder how good old Bill Gates is doing with his divorce going on. Hmm. Hope he's getting exactly what he deserves. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. Root of the drive. Same old crap. There it is. Okay. Now, you want to copy a file over. It's no big deal. Open up another instance of, uh, you know, of Explorer. We should open. There we go. Now, we can just go right on over. We'll go to the desktop. Grab hold of a file. Like uh, this one right here. Whoopsie. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to grab all of them. Grab all of that. Bring it over here. Drag it. Drop it. That's it. Piece of cake. There it is. Right click. Delete it. Okay. To delete it, just right click on it. All right. There we go. We delete. It's going to ask for confirmation. At least this is faster than the other one this morning. Yes. And it'll be gone at any given time. There you go. All right. Dragging and dropping photos. It's the same shit. Okay. So, you know. Copying and pasting is is really a piece of cake on this, so, you know, there you go, all right? Everything works, like I said, no big deal, life is grand. So we'll exit out of that, and there you go, and that's how you copy and paste files and folders and all that crazy stuff on over there, okay? So there you go. You can also boot games from it, all that kind of crazy stuff. If it's a default XEX, you can boot it, all right? So anyway, that's how that works, okay? That's how you go ahead and you copy files and folders and all that stuff all over, okay? So now... I gave you enough information to become very, very dangerous to yourself and to others, as well as the Xbox, okay? Just remember, all safeties are off on this thing. If you delete something that you shouldn't be deleting, think twice before you hit that damn delete button, okay? There's nothing that's going to pop up and say, uh, this is part of a program, do you really want to do this, okay? You know, I mean, no, it's just going to delete it, all right? So, be careful with the delete button, all right? Now, we're all done here, Brandon. Thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? Uh, I hope you like the console and everything. I was glad that I was able to go ahead and, you know, actually show you building it, actually, you know, piece by piece, which was cool. So, anyway, listen, thanks so much, brother. Okay, we're going to ship it off tomorrow. 
And uh, we're done with this one, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to unplug this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab hold of Mr. Daniel Allen's. Okay, now Daniel's here. Okay, his is a Trinity model. The other one was a Corona. Okay, now this is a Trinity. We're going to plug this in right here. And I'll tell you what, Daniel, we're going to fire it up. Okay, now it's going to have the same stuff that the other console had. All right. And, of course, yes, it boots just like the other one, as you can see. Okay, instant boot. No games, no nothing. Between one and three cycles, that's what you get when you get one from me. Okay, all the time. All right. I won't let something go out of this out of this shop that, that, that doesn't boot right. That just drives me insane. I don't want to sit there and wait. Okay, I'm just like you, and I want to get what the fuck I paid for. Okay, so I'm just like you. If I work for my fucking money, and you work for your fucking money, well, guess what? Okay, you're going to get what's coming to you, all right, which is this thing. It can't be any other way with me, otherwise I'll fucking go off the fucking deep end, all right? Now, all right, so anyway, look, we're at show all. It's the same stuff, man, all right? Hit our beat. Wait a minute. I got to sync the controller up. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the things that we do. Okay, now, okay, hit our B, context menu. There you go. All right, all your games on there. Yes, including college football revamped. I wouldn't forget that. No, it go, comes on every freaking hard drive, okay? And, of course, everything that, everything that the other one had, okay? Bring it over, Xbox Live Arcade, yes. And, yes, it has all title updates already downloaded and installed for you. So, that way, then, you can spend time playing it instead of setting the freaking thing up. That's another thing that makes me crazy is when they give you an RGH and say, Well, here you go. Nothing on it. No instructions how to set it up. No instructions how to play the games. No instructions for anything. And then you go and message them, and they're like going like, do I know you? Uh, yeah, I bought an RGH from you. Oh, good. Does it boot? Yeah. You having fun with it? Well, how do I copy games on it? Well, that's for you to find out. Nice. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, your indie games. Emulators, so on and so forth. Okay, yeah, I even give you a different cover on this. Look, see? Isn't that nice of me, huh? Uh, C60 Entertainment System, yes. All right, so anyway. Okay, you know, FCUX, show all, and we're back here. All right, pretty simple. All right, now what we'll do is, is we'll go on over to Xbox 360, bring this over here, we'll go over to the dashboard, hit that. You will see that it is up, it is online and live, just like the other one. And here we are. Life is good, okay? Your guide, okay? Fifth tab, your cheats. Disable, hit A. Enable, hit A. Okay, they come enabled. Back. Daniel. <laughs> now remember, everything that I said in the previous video applies to this console. It's the same damn thing. Okay? So you do everything that I said on the other console, and guess what? Yours is going to run just the same way. So there you go. All right? So listen, Daniel. Thank you for your business, man. I really do appreciate it, okay? You're an awesome guy. Thanks again for everything. Guys, listen. I hope. Oh, hey, Betty Ann. How you doing? Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Charles, thank you very, very much, man. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't fill it yourself, man. I'll take care of that. Every single one of these things is stuffed full, bro. You know, I mean, that's just the way to be. You know? I mean, you know, I I, I mean, if you're giving like a blank RGA... First of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't charge what I charge, okay? You know, I mean, this thing out of the box, these two, these 250 gig drive ones, okay? First off, I do use new drives. I don't use old ones, okay? I use new cases for the hard drive, all right? I use real A ships, okay? No, no, no clones or anything like that, okay? I mean, the only time I ever use a clone is in a pinch, and it's still going to boot the same way because the way I do the wiring and the timing files are the same, you know? And, I mean, and, and you know, and it's never failed me. Since I've been doing these on Facebook since 2014, and I've actually been working on these things since 2002, the original Xbox, okay? So, you know, I mean, oh, thank you. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it, man. Uh, you, you know, I mean, I'm not an angel. I'm, I'm, yeah, can you see the horns holding up the halo, dude? Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the, in actuality, though, you know, I mean, these things, they come. It's like, it's like for this thing, it's like 1E6 shipped within the United States, and that includes the hard drive, you know, everything, the server, Everything. So that way, then, this thing is set up and ready to go right out of the freaking box. All right? So you're not sitting there going like, okay, now i got to go get a server. Now i got to do this. Now i get, now I got to do that. I'd rather give it to you so then that way, then, it's good to go right from the beginning. You know what you're getting. 
You know how to work it. You get a guide with it. You know, you get some instructions. And, of course, I'm always here anyway. And you get a warranty with it. I give you a three-month warranty on it, parts and labor. That's the whole console, okay? If this thing, if this thing shits the South Bridge, you send it back to me, and I promise you, I will give you a new one. It's just the way to be. You know, I mean, if you're going you're gonna to play, you're going to pay. Sooner or later, yeah, but I've had some that have failed, too. I mean, I've got one, I, got one right here. Yeah, this fucking piece of shit right here, okay? You know, I mean, fucking South Bridge, no good. Junk. That's what I think of that, all right? You know, I mean, you know, yeah, look, got another one. You don't think I play around here? Okay, I'm being real with you, okay? This was another one, all right? This was a Corona. No, this was a Trinity. The freaking South Bridge went bad. Piece of shit. That's what I think of that, okay, you know? Keep them around for parts, for capacitors, stuff like that. But I've had them go. I mean, you know, it's mechanical, you know, and we're dealing with consoles that are from 2010 through, well, actually earlier than that, 2008 through 2013. Okay, you know, so these things do have age on them, but, you know, as I, as I said, you know, like with, with this one here and, and the other one right here, you know, when I opened up, the, when I opened them both up, I showed, I showed them the insides of these things, they were spotless, they weren't barely ever used, you know, I mean, so it's like, you know, and my dealer is a very, very good guy, and I know him very well, and he gives me good stuff, so, you know, I mean, I can warranty it, we also have an extended warranty on our website, you can click on that, it's 25 bucks, it gives you parts and labor for a year. Okay, which means that if this thing freaking shits the bed, okay, nothing that nothing that you did to it, though. I'm not talking about deleting files and stuff. That's on you, okay? But if it shits the freaking bed, yeah, I'm here. I got no problems, you know? I mean, that's just, you know, that's the way to do business anyway, okay? I hate those guys that run around and sell these fucking things say, well, there is no warranty. Why would you need a warranty? Because I do good work. It's still a fucking piece of machinery that motherfucker can fail, okay? Now, if you got balls and you're real, and you're OG, guess what you'll do? You'll do the right fucking thing. If not, you're a fucking mealy mouse little prick that don't deserve to fucking do this shit at all. Okay, all because you can solder five wires together. Don't think that you're God. You're fucking not. Period. Okay? So, being real with you, there you go. <laughs> okay, you know, what am I going to tell you? Okay, that's the only way to be. If, you, if, you, if you're not going to stand by what you do, well then, well then you're a freaking idiot. Okay, you know, that's all I got to say. You know, I, I, I've, been, I, I've been on this earth for 54 years, all right? You know, I'm going to do the right thing. Otherwise, I ain't doing it fucking at all. That's it. That's just me. Sorry, I get a little, I get a little um, animated about that. But it just, I see people getting screwed all the freaking time and I get sick of it, okay? It just pisses me off, all right? Especially on a gaming console, for God's sake. God almighty. Fucking simplest thing in the fucking world, okay? And everybody acts like God because they can work on them. Ooh, be still my heart. Tell you what, you know what? Try and work on an HV, try to work on a CPC computer that controls a grocery store and find a bug in that son of a bitch, alright? Then you can then you're gonna impress me, alright? But this shit is fucking simple, okay? And a monkey can do it, I promise you. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, I get animated. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Did I break a window? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Look, listen. Thank you all. Okay? And I really do, really do appreciate all of you guys. I really do. You know, and I am doing a college football revamp giveaway custom console, which I have been working on, okay? And um, I'm going to cut out the uh, friggin' cutout tomorrow, all right? So that way then I can get it on a friggin' console because it's going to be a big cutout, all right? It's a football. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. You know, I posted it and said, you know, I'm going to be doing this, so I'm going to be doing this, okay? Um, after this, I'm going to try and get my uh, sale going on here. All right, I got a sale going on, all right? Um... And, uh, well, I got it written down here, and I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a slim console. comes with a one-year part and labor warranty. Yes, I'm giving that away. All right, comes with a 120-gig drive. It's three months uh, on our server. Okay, so you're going to get three months instead of one month. All right, and then, of course, you got your games list, which is going to be Advanced Warfare, BO, uh, Black Ops, BO2, uh, Ghosts, World of War, uh, GTA 5, MW3, NCA fo uh, 14, of course, College Football Revamped. Your XBLA is going to include Soul Calibur 007 uh, HD, Mortal Kombat. Your emulator is going to be SNES, Game Boy Advance, and Sega. Homebrew, of course, you're going to have 360 uh, NAND flasher on there. Dash launch, okay. Um, what you call it? Uh, XM360, of course. And, of course, it's Xbox uh, neighborhood ready, all right? And that's going to be 175 shipped out the door. Console and hard drive, okay? And all that shit included, all right? So, you know, I mean, like I said, we're not screwing around, okay? And, like I said, 175 for that. It's pretty good. Now, mind you, a 120-gig drive, that's rather small, all right? 
However, though, it's got enough on there to get you going. You can always add an external drive to it, and you can always download games from Pirate Bay or wherever wherever it is that you want to download a game from. Three so Xbox 360 is so, you know what I mean, so on and so forth. And you can just map the external drive, and there you go, all right? Or you can order a bigger drive with the damn thing. I mean, I, whatever you want to do, all right? But it is going to be 175 shipped with a 120 gig drive. Fully loaded, ready to go, out the door with all that crap, okay? Just so you know. Now, I'm going to try and get that sale up tonight. I'm not going to make any promises because, I, as you can see, I'm running late with this crap and everything, but I'm going to try, okay? Uh, it's going to be a direct link. It's going to be on the uh, on the business page, and I'm going to be advertising it, so that way you know. So there you go, all right? So listen, guys, again, thank you very, very much, okay? I greatly do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, okay? I've seen a lot of people tuned into this one, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. I hope you guys have a great night, and I'm going to holler at you all later, okay? You all take it easy. These consoles going out tomorrow. Tracking numbers will follow. Thank you very much. You all have a good one. Good night, guys. God bless.